It's finally here. iPad OS 13.1. Really disturbing show on TV. This update, I'm waiting for a very long time. I got iOS 13 for my um, iPhone, which I'm using a thumb this right now. But this came out about four and a half, five days later. So I'm going to update this. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it for those who don't know how to update iPads or iPhones. Say so you're new to Apple, but you're getting this update. So hit download, install. And it's gonna ask me if I want to uh, agree to this. Of course, I'm gonna agree. Now, this might take a while, but it's worth it. So I might, I might, I might just read this while this is installing. And I'll, um, I'll stop recording, so this is gonna take a while. And see, I said 56 minutes. I'll get back to this as soon as I can. All right, I have actually heard a lot of good things about iPad OS. Like, um, that, that iPad OS will have mouse support and all that stuff. Um, mouse support is like for those who don't have, say they, they don't like to touch the screen or they don't, or for those who can't touch it, or even for those who want to be, who want to use their iPad as their own computer, it even it now has mouse support. And, uh, also it'll have, I think like, like, um, like flash drive, you know, like, uh, external storage support as well. And, um, yeah, I got a, lot, a whole bunch of other things, like dark mode. It's a lot to explain, but I'll show it all when it's done. I'll do a review. I might even review it in another video, depending on how long this takes. So, um, I was, I was going to use my GoPro to film this, my Hero 7. But, you know, the quality on that's not as good as my iPhone filming in 4K. So, I decided I'll use my iPhone so I can get a better close-up and everything. So, I just did a video, a Chromebook video, for those who are into my Chromebook vids called how to reset your Chromebook. I did one before that for my, uh, my, um, iPhone. Oh, no, I'm missing my desktop PC. And, um, you can actually see that on my, uh, Chromebook playlist. And anyway, to this, I'm going to stop recording. I'll, I'll start it when it's somewhat finished because I'm sure you guys don't want to see another 15, 20 minutes of this. All right, it took no time at all. It's actually almost done right now with the uh, preparing the update. I'll pick it up when it gets to the to the um, to the install screen, the Apple logo and everything. But uh, so I'll just show you guys that it's taking a lot less time than I expected. So yeah. All right, it's verifying the update. It's now uh, it gave me a little, it asked a little thing. It asked me if I wanted to install now or later, and of course I'm gonna do it now. So um. Gonna install the update now. So that what it does before is that was just a download. In case those of you who don't know, say you're brand new to iOS or you know you don't know much about it, this is the this is the actual installation. And it's um, portrait mode. On the, on the old iPads, it was landscape, and that's portrait on here. So same as an iPhone. So this might take a while. Let me turn this down so I can see it better. I'm not really going to film all this. I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Depending on the size of the update and how much space it takes, it normally takes no time at all. This is a this is a big this is a big upgrade, so it might take a while. But it looks like it's already going up fast. Depending on your on your iPad, this is this is one of the latest and greatest iPads, so it might not take as long but if you've got like an ipad air or something like that that's a bit old and older it might take a bit longer so i'll get back to this when it's done all right ipad os looks good it didn't take nearly as long as i thought it took like uh about 20 minutes i'm guessing so it looks kind of like ios did but um one thing about it that's a little different is um of course, you get the dark mode, right? And you still get the drag down menu post iOS. Now, you also you still get night shift, which I use every single night. So, you see the apps are smaller. That's because you now have mouse support and it helps with the... Uh, and that's not the real reason why. I believe the reason why apps are smaller is simply because... Because, um... Well, because you get this over here. And this has to fit in the same home screen. Now, this is an option, okay? You can drag it over and you can... You can cycle through your apps like this. 
there's a lot more I'm going to have to review. I'm going to have to explore, and I'll do a further review. So that's going to be it for this video. This is just the download and installing section. So that's going to be it for this. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to peace out. And don't forget to check out my upcoming video where I'm going to be I'm reviewing the software, like a more professional review. I didn't have time to do everything except a desk or anything to review it professionally. But that's it for this video, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and don't forget to peace out.